You look like you can handle yourself. Care to explore a bit of the Reach and make some gold along the way? I need someone willing to brave the ruins of Briar Rock. A Reach clan known as the Thornroot have taken warriors from a rival clan, the Wildblood, there. The Wildblood doubt their clanmates survive, but they still have a task they need help with. Each of their captured warriors carried a talisman with them. They would be of no value to the Thornroot, but they hold significant value to the Wild's blood. They'd like the talismans returned, if possible. Think you can find a few of them? Not all Reach clans are bloodthirsty and obsessed with power, but those do exist. Watch yourself out there. The Reach folk on the whole worship the Daedra. They pay homage to their favorite prince, who they refer to as Great Spirits. From what I gather, the Wildblood clan honors her seat. They do so in the form of talismans they carry with them. Each warrior is responsible for crafting their own talisman, and thus it is unique to that person and their family. It represents the relationship between hunter and prey, and is deeply personal to their beliefs about life and death. Correct. I don't know what becomes of the spirits of Reach Folk who die away from their clan, but to the wild blood, it seems those talismans are an important part of guiding their loved one's spirit home. Bring them back if you can find them. Got this. Do you think there's a sweet shop around here? Let's take a look. 
Well. Well. Ah, uh, I was just wondering what happened to you. What can you tell me? Wonderful. I'll make sure these get back to the wild blood. You've done them a great service today, and I have no doubt that they will appreciate it. Here's your reward. I still need to consult with my friends in the Reach. I doubt I'll have anything more for you until that happens. Be safe out there. I could use your help, if you have the time. Your talents might be perfect for a job I need done. The Thornroot clan plans to turn the Wildblood clan members they captured into Briarhearts, against their will. Truly horrific. Rescuing the captives will only delay their abusive ritual. We need a more permanent solution. The Thornroot shamans use tools blessed specifically for this ritual. Whether this consecration is necessary is beside the point. The Thornroots believe it is. If you destroy these tools, it will impair their ability to continue with the ritual. I look forward to your safe return. With your efforts, we can improve our relationships with the local clans. I don't know much. It's something quite sacred to the Reach folk. I've only been able to glean small details. The standard practice of the ritual entails hag ravens replacing a person's heart with a seed that imbues them with incredible power. Becoming a briar heart is considered a sacred, worthy tradition to the Reach folk, if done appropriately. It's not inherently evil. The Thornroot clan defiles the ancient ritual by abusing it for their own selfish purposes. The Thornroot clan believes their blessing allows them to desecrate the ritual without angering the spirits. They won't be bold enough to attempt it without their special tools. They want to avoid the ire of whatever spirit they're invoking.
Your prowess was befitting a knight. Well done. If you see a pawn shop, give a shout. I want to get a gift for Aurelia. What do you want? Ah, uh, I was just wondering what happened to you. What can you tell me? Good. You dealt the Thornroot clan a serious blow. Hopefully, this will give the Wildblood clan a chance to rescue some of those that were taken. I'll make sure my contacts know what you did today. In the meantime, take this. You earned it. My contacts in the Reach appreciate the work we've been doing for them. I'll let you know when they need something else. And remember, I pay well for services rendered. I work for a group of scholars in Arenthia. We're interested in forming relations with the Reach folk in exchange for knowledge. I've been working as an ambassador of sorts between my people and various clan chiefs. Yes, not all Reach folk are as aggressive as the ones we've encountered outside of the Reach. My goal is scholarly, but these people deal in deeds. Earning their trust is an important step in learning more about their culture. To do that, I need aid. Indeed, these tasks are suited for those much more capable than I, and they are quite important to the Reach folk. Ours could be a mutually beneficial arrangement. Whether it's adventure or reward that you're looking for, I can offer both. It depends entirely on what the Reach folk ask of me. I work closely with them to find out what they need, and then pass that information on to willing adventurers. There's a lot to do, if you have the time and the skills. I need hardy adventurers to assist me in helping the clans of the Reach. I'm willing to pay, if you can complete the task at hand. The Wildblood clan believes that while the Thornroots have always been aggressive, a new Hagraven matron has taken them from contentious to malevolent. Ridding them of her influence might slow the Thornroots' thirst for blood. My contacts believe the matron keeps an effigy in her possession that grants her power a Reach Totem of some kind. If you can obtain it, that should weaken the Matron and the Thornroot Clan considerably. Find the Totem and bring it to me. Not all Reach Clans are bloodthirsty and obsessed with power, but those do exist. Watch yourself out there. The Totem actually has a great deal of religious significance to the Wildblood Clan. The Thornroot Clan captured it during a raid and took it to the Briar Rock Ruins. Apparently, the Hagraven Matron wanted the Totem. In some way that I don't understand, the Matron draws power from the Relic. Whether that's a natural property of the Totem, or it has something to do with forcefully possessing it, I don't know. The Wildblood will be happy to have it returned. Plus, keeping it out of the Hagraven Matron's hands is extremely important. These beliefs, no matter what we think of them, have power. As long as the Thornroot possess it, the Wildblood are in danger.
destroyed by Azu then. Rise. Rise from your grave. Defend the tree. Rise from your grave. Defend the tree. I command you. It's good to see. Well done. That should quell the Thornroot Clan's violent tendencies and allow the Wildbud Clan to breathe a little easier, at least for a while. Here, as promised, your portion of the reward. I'm sorry, I don't have any tasks I need done at the moment. I'll speak with my contacts in the Reach and have more work for you soon. I could use your help. If you have the time, your talents might be perfect for a job I need done. There have been sightings of a strange mushroom growing in Gloomreach. A few Reach shamans would like to get some samples collected. I told them I'd look for volunteers. For a cut of the reward, of course. I'm not sure. Perhaps it's for a ritual of some sort? At any rate, they shouldn't be too hard to find. Gather a few samples for me, and I'll make sure that they get into the right hands. Watch yourself out there. More than one adventurer has underestimated the dangers of the Reach. Not a lot, I'm afraid. A few of the Reach shamans are interested in those caves. They say the place is suffused with strange energies and they're eager to get their hands on some of it. Which means gold for people like you and me. Well, from my limited knowledge of fungi, Mushrooms are like sponges. They absorb whatever they can from the soil. Since the area itself seems to possess strange properties, the shamans assume the mushrooms do too. I suggest you wash up thoroughly after handling them, at the very least. But I doubt they'll cause you any lasting harm. There's sure to be more dangerous things in those caves anyway. Better to worry about them than the mushrooms. Steel.
Prince of Samus, you don't want to do this! I hope to see you again soon, and here you are. I assume you completed your task successfully? There you are, just in time. Hopefully these specimens will be enough to satisfy my contacts. Here's your cut of the reward, and come back later. I'm sure to have plenty more work for you. I'm sorry, I don't have any tasks I need done at the moment. I'll speak with my contacts in the Reach and have more work for you soon. I need hardy adventurers to assist me in helping the clans of the Reach. I'm willing to pay, if you can complete the task at hand. Reports of a strange fungal mold affecting the animals in Gloomreach have come to my attention. The Reach folk think the magic in that place might be causing the animals to produce it, and that it could be quite useful if that's the case. I need someone to gather samples of the fungal mold. The creatures should naturally shed it, so it will be easy to collect. But there's no telling how this affliction has affected them, so I advise caution. What do you say? There's pay involved. Watch yourself out there. More than one adventurer has underestimated the dangers of the Reach. Truthfully, I don't know much more than what the Reach folk told me. The creatures producing it tend to vary, according to reports. I've heard Gloomspore bears and wolves seem to be most affected, but it's not limited to them. In and of itself? No, I should think not. The beasts themselves, however, are another matter. I would employ caution. Now this is why I joined you. This place is great.
together. That was it, right? Sometimes it's hard to tell. You've returned. I trust your venture went well. What news do you have for me? Ah, I suppose you did. Sticky, isn't it? <laughs> Lovely. I'll make sure it gets to my contacts as soon as possible. Here, you earned this. I'm sure you'll need some of it to pay to get your pack cleaned. My contacts in the Reach appreciate the work we've been doing for them. I'll let you know when they need something else. And remember, I pay well for services rendered. Some of the Reach clans are looking for help, and I'm acting as a liaison for them. I can pay you for your time, if you're willing to listen. There's a crazed mage performing dangerous experiments in the depths of Gloomreach. One of those experiments has been brought to my attention, and it has the potential to be catastrophic if not stopped. The mage's experiment, as near as I can tell, involves a strange egg. He might be trying to hatch a creature, or something even more sinister. Impossible to know for sure. Regardless, the egg needs to be destroyed before it comes to fruition. I look forward to your safe return. With your efforts, we can improve our relationships with the local clans. The Reach shamans believe that the mage is investing the egg with the power that flows through Gloomreach. Whatever grows inside that shell, they fear the potential destruction it will unleash when it hatches. You must destroy that egg. Reach folk aren't usually in the business of... 
study. They view the mage's experiment as a threat, and they tend to deal with those as expediently as possible. I doubt there's anything useful to be learned anyway. Just destroy it and move on. Well? suppose they do for fun around here. What is it? You've returned. I trust your venture went well. What news do you have for me? Excellent. If the Reach folk were worried, I shudder to think what that egg contained. I'll let them know the danger has passed. Thanks for all of your help. Here's the payment I promised. I look forward to working with you again soon. I still need to consult with my friends in the Reach. I doubt I'll have anything more for you until that happens. Be safe out there. <laughs> 